hello hello welcome once again to my youtube channel i'm back again with another video the last one i made with the phone was fun for me so i thought i would just make another one and also just uh, give some talk on um, some stuff so today's topic is about computer programming and it's a, uh, I, I want to share my experience and um, at least from my, the biologist perspective so a lot of biologists have are always asking this question about how they can learn programming and so I've interviewed a number of biologists from uh, my, 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 my environment and it's the same song that has been sung about um, programming being difficult initial that's what they think uh, they think programming is about um, this uh, mathematics equations and all these things so uh, it, it makes them a bit scared to go into programming so I thought I also use this platform to just give to give an advice that programming it's 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 nothing to be scared of as a biology. In fact, it's one of the things you enjoy most um, as a as a biology. So I, I thought I also share my experience on that. So I I I, I do more of Python programming. I also do Unix and a bit of R. In fact, I've basically taught myself computer programming for a, a number of years now. Python I had to learn from scratch. With no physical instructor, I had to learn everything using online materials and all, uh, online uh, video tutorials and PDF documents and doing practice and all that. And I've learned that over the years, and I've really enjoyed that journey. But then, that journey also uh, uh, also made me realize something, uh, which I will talk about um, in a moment. So, uh, let me start. I, for instance, I for example, for instance, I got um, this interest in programming when I was uh, doing my undergrad um, by chemistry, and then I had this interest in computer programming. So I, I also had some friends who were computer science students, and they, they gave me um, some information: Java, Python, and all the C plus plus C and all that, and that was fine. I started learning it a bit, and then I stopped along the way during my undergrad journeys. Um, yeah, and then focus on my 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 study, my project work, and all those things were were taking time. So I stopped it for a while. Actually, I also stopped it probably because I had also lost interest. I will come to that um, later. That's the fun part. So after I completed my undergrads um, in Ghana, we do what we call national service, where after you graduate, uh, you serve the government for you serve the nation for one year, basically. Uh, you are posted to an institution or an area, and then you work for one year. So, I was there and then I did my national service and then um, along the way I, I decided to pick uh, the programming uh, books back and start um, practicing. So, in fact, I had lost interest by then in programming myself and then I decided to do that. I decided to find out how is Python programming language, how is the Python programming language being used in the field of biology. That's what I googled. So when I googled, I found out uh, this thing that got me excited and interested. So I found out about Python um, being used to generate sequences and being used to simulate some biological processes, transcription, um, translation, uh, doing um, complementary sequences, um, generating codons, and that got me really, really excited. In fact, that was um, the turning point in my, my, my journey in programming. That's what actually pushed me to get into Python full time. So, because I, I saw this, I was excited that computer programming, I thought it was all this, all about maths and uh, these equations and all those things. And because of that, that puts me up, not knowing this is what Python can also be used for, about using it for biological data, analyzing biological data, simulating biological sequence. That's what got me excited because it's like I had this. Um, good feeling about i mean applying it in my area biology and that's helped me so once i got this i in fact i i, I got addicted to programming let me see because i was always looking at python doing all this simulation um, generating codons generating sequences and doing all this molecular biology and um, simulation stuff and that helped me because that's got me excited. So, in fact, all the, the fear, all the scare, all the this interest I had vanished and I started looking into Python. So, that um, actually also made me realize something that as a biologist, or let me even um, talk in general terms, programming, the difficulty of programming 
it's in the state of the mind. And also, I think it's because of the approach that um, sometimes people use to teach programming. So, if I'm a biologist, the approach to teach programming to me would definitely have to be different from teaching programming to a computer scientist or a social scientist or mathematician or whatever. Because what I realized was that if you are going to teach someone program or if you yourself you are going to learn computer programming, then you need to first look at how programming is being applied in your world, in your thought, in my case, in biology. And then once you get that, you now start practicing and using that programming in that field to solve problems and challenges in that field. And then that is where you get the interest and the energy to actually learn more. I wouldn't say that programming is easy. You might have some challenges, all right. But then if you have this interest and the edge to learn more, you have this positive feeling. That is what will actually drive you to, to, to read more. So as a biologist, my advice is that look at, find out how programming is being applied in the field of biology and start from, start from scratch, start from the basics. That's what I would say. In my case, I started with Python. Look at how we are using it in molecular biology, simulation, transcription, translation. And that from there, you build it up little by little. And that is how, as a biologist, You'll be able to learn programming quickly if you just start and then just move to an advanced level then that, that's where the fear and the disinterest also comes in so try and then just make sure you 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 you, you look at those strategies that's what is going to really help you so after you've done that then you now start reading um, you go into advanced um, advanced um, studies and methods in the programming um, section and that's what's going to really help you out so as a biologist, don't be scared of computer programming. In fact, it's one of the fun things you can even do, one of the best things that will be happen to your life because of, I mean, the fun that you can have with programming. So eventually, I was coding just for the fun of it and eventually got into bioinformatics full-time. So and that's my advice for you as a biologist. Don't be scared of programming, but then try and then use it in your field. Forget about the math for now. Try and then use it for just little, little tasks and then just get it done. And you should also know that programming itself is like a language. In every language, you have to be consistent. You have to practice. Okay, that's how you become perfect. So just keep on practicing, talking to people, seeking for advice and help. And then people are always willing to, to help you if you ask them nicely. Go online. Now, we have a lot of materials and videos to us online that will help you too. To, to quickly um, get the knowledge in programming. Python, for example, is free, it's open source, so you can always go and download. There are hundreds and thousands of video tutorials online. And I also have a special uh, um, video tutorial for uh, designed for just biologists and, and for Python programs. So that's just a bit of advice I have for biologists about how you can learn programming. So start small, get the basics, and then I'll zoom into what you want to do. So in later videos, I'll be having some discussions about programming and biology and then looking at how we can just work this, this out and then um, have some fun together with um, bioinformatics and computer program. So that's what I have for you for today and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.